Finally, the oddest mention in the whole of the documents, part two, a leaf book, whose contents are apparently so sensitive that no part of the presumed summary of its contents is leaked. The entire description is blacked out. This is extremely interesting, and another point of internal contradiction. For in the light of the description of an integrated circuitry encountered above, and any culture possessing it, digital data storage is possible. Surely an advanced extra extraterrestrial culture with interplanetary travel capability would have a more advanced technology for data storage than a book. That's from Reich of the Black Sun, Nazi Secret Weapons and the Cold War Ally Legends by Joseph P. Farrell. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Stench of Truth. This issue is going to focus on control. Do you realize how much control you're subjected to on, ev on any given day? Do you have any fucking conception of it? Do you realize that from the moment you wake up to the moment you sleep at night and possibly even while you're sleeping you are subjected to avenues and methods of control. They range from very subtle means to very gross ones. Think about it. You have to work. You have to work. It's a must. You have to go. You have to make money. You have to pay bills. These are all methods of control. Work is a method of control because it dictates where you'll be for a certain period of time every day. Having responsibilities in your life, having to pay bills and support yourself in that way is a method of control because they know that for a certain period of time every day, every week, whatever, you're going to have to be at a grocery store. You're going to have to go to a department store. You're going to have to go to a hardware store. All of these things are known quantities, and they're all things that you have to do. Now, there are more subtle means of control as well. Advertising, the use of symbols, words, and phrases to control you into consuming. There are very subtle means, there are very gross means of doing this, but every day you're influenced by them to either buy a product or not. And think about this. If you realize that someone is trying to control you into buying a product and you say to yourself, hmm, I'm not going to buy that product because they're trying to force me to buy it. And you buy another product. Could that also be a method of control in order to get you to buy a product at all? Is it Coke or Pepsi? Is it McDonald's or Burger King? All of these things are avenues of control in your life. And let's not even talk about the TV. If you watch any amount of TV at all, you're being subjected to a massive amount of programming that's being downloaded and dumped right into your fucking brain every day. For hours. And then there's the internet, which there are streams and streams and billions and billions of bits of information floating around there that certainly can be uplifting, but can certainly also be used for control. And you can bet that the PSYOP leaders in the military-industrial complex are eyeing the internet for more and more ways of controlling people's lives. So think about how much control you're under every day. Maybe we need to think about ways to get out from under that control and to try to take back control of our own lives fully and completely away from those that want to control us. Whether it be in advertising, in how we live, how we act towards each other, in every possible fucking way, there is control being influenced and exerted upon us. 
maybe we need to focus on trying to take back some of that control for ourselves. Thank you. Good night.